We dropped acid and listened to Daniel's poems, sharing his visions. The music blended, creating a symphony to the sun, and we floated deep within ourselves. in the streets, parks, and campuses of California. We knew, no longer related to the values of our parents, so we searched for other values by studying those of ancient cultures who were still concerned with the sacred. With these values as a base, we could help form our own. Our theater became very provocative. It followed the basic ideas of the French director Antonin Artaud. We practiced shamanism, which is a primitive form of medicine or psychotherapy. It has been used for centuries in China, Bali, and Tibet as a way to cure the illnesses of man. The chamen exercises the demons that infest the spirit of man. We felt that modern man was also infested with these spirits. So we attempted to transform the consciousness of the people. We tried to drive those evil spirits out of the mind of modern man. We learned to be witches or chamans and exercise ourselves on stage. But to become a chaman and to be able to exercise ourselves, we needed to increase our sensitivity through trances. We needed to take the dark demons of men inside ourselves and experience them. So Zilla made a voluntary journey to the underworld and met the dark power of the Indian goddess Kali. The forces of energy of Daniel and Zilla were going in two opposite directions. So we all decided to organize a ceremony. We felt a need to create new rights because the rights of our society had no meaning for us anymore. We felt that these rights would bring us together. Daniel decided that we should erect the totem of the tribe, the tribe of the Floating Lotus Magic Opera Company. Daniel took a sacred cloth and put it in front of the totem. We then offered the earth our voices, our movements, in sign of our humility. Listening, reflecting, meditating, may the three bodies of the 